Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing the 500 Peso Makeup Challenge. As you can see, I don't have any makeup on right now and that's because I'm going to be doing my makeup step by step using the makeup items that I bought for 500 pesos only. I was able to achieve that 500 peso makeup shopping experience because what I did, I went to our local department stores and searched for different makeup items from our local brands. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys but I had a very challenging experience picking the makeup that I have to use for this challenge because the budget is very very tight and that's 500 pesos for everything, makeup and tools. So all of the makeup items that I will use in this video was purchased from SM Department Store and Robinson's Department Store. I also have to mention guys that this is going to be a collaboration video with two of my YouTuber friends, Coffee and Sparkle with Mimi and Aileen Camino. Be sure to check out our channel guys, I'll be putting all of the links in the description box below. If you want to see my take on the 500 Peso Makeup Challenge, please keep on watching! So with the 500 Peso budget, I was able to buy all of these items. I was able to buy myself a lipstick from Everbelena. This is the Everbelena Lip Color Extreme Shine. It's in the shade 704 and it cost me 75 pesos. This is going to be my foundation. This is the Ido Classic Powder Foundation in the shade... I don't know. Wala nakalagay. Okay, number 2. The SA claimed to have full coverage. I bought for 130 pesos. Of course, I'll be doing a full makeup and that entails for me to do my eye makeup. And I got the Ido Classic Mascara in a black color and this cost me 50 pesos. This is a Caroline Eyeshadow and Blusher that has 2 blushers and 8 eyeshadow colors. Well, I'm going to have a full use out of this because I'm going to use it as a blusher. Now this for my highlighter, this to enhance my brow color and these are the eyeshadows that I'm going to be using. I forgot to mention I'm going to be using this as a bronzer too. Next thing that I got is a black eyeliner from Nichido and this is their Eye Pencil Black. Yun lang yung name niya. And it did cost me 36.50 for this pencil. Then, last but not the least, Ido Color Pencil. I will be using this for my brows. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this powder foundation using the sponge that it came with. I'm going to start under my eyes because this is where I need... Oh my, so sobrang puti. Um, pack on the foundation on this area. Then, I'm going to do the other eye. Okay, parang medyo okay-okay naman siya. Buti na lang. Pero at least guys, napili ko yung yellow toned and hindi yung orange. Okay, I'm going to be doing my nose. I wasn't able to ask if I can use this wet and dry but uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this dry. Just to be safe because I don't want this to cake on my face. Then my cheeks. Okay, um, I don't know if you can see, but um, it can't cover the redness that I have on my cheeks. Okay, more powder pa. And I'm going to do the other side as well. And going to go over my neck. Okay, so after doing my base, and definitely the base wasn't able to cover the redness on my face, and then um, you can still see the shade of darkness under my eyes. Do my brows. This is the Ido Color Pencil that I'm using. I'm going to start in the middle of my brows and then dragging it to the tail. And I'm going to do the same at the upper arch. Okay, after an hour of feeling my brows, sobrang matigas siya gamitin and very very light siya ilagay. So, I really have to scrub it in my brows para maging intense yung color. I'm just going to clean the outline. Okay. Hira pag walang spoolie. Hindi ko alam kung paano ka ibabrush to. Okay, I'm going to do the other side of my eye.
going to use the brown in this palette and then using this brush I'm going to enhance my brows. Now I'm going to go ahead with this Caroline eyeshadow and blusher palette. And I'm going to be using this cranberry color on the main lids using the sponge applicator that came with it. So just to make sure that I won't have any fallouts, I'm going to be using a tissue and be placing it under my eye. Now I'm going to be patting the color on my main lids. And then I'm going to use my ring finger to blend out the edges. Now to intensify the look, I'm going to get that black color and put it on my lash line, then slightly smudging it. And I'm going to apply more and intensify. Now again, using my ring finger, I'm going to blend the smudged color. Guys, I'm going to go back with the cranberry color and apply it on my lower lash line. With the other side of the brush. Ow. Then using my pinky finger, I'm going to apply this highlight color on my brow bone. Now again, going back to the black color, I'm going to get it at the tip of the sponge applicator and apply it just at the outer third of my eye. Lightly blending with my ring finger. Now I'm finished applying all of the eyeshadow colors. I'm going to tight line my eyes with this Nichido black eyeliner. Slightly tug on my eye and apply on the waterline. And then also at the upper rim. I'm finished tight lining the eye and since I don't have any lash curler, I'm going to go straight ahead with the mascara. I'm using this Ido Classic Mascara in black. I want to bronze my face but I don't have a bronzer so I'm just going to be using this brown eye shadow with my foundation sponge, the back side of my foundation sponge. Pick some of the color and then pat it at the back of my hand. I'm going to start with my hairline, bringing it down to my cheeks. And then on my jawline. Grabbing some color with a sponge and patting it at the back of my hand. And I'm going to bronze. I'm not going back to pick up color from the tan. I'm going to use what's left on the sponge to contour my nose. You may notice I've put too much on my forehead, but don't you worry guys, you can always go back with your foundation.
Then I'm going to be applying this blush with this sponge also. Again, picking some of the color, patting it at the back of my hand. Then I'm going to apply the blush. With my middle and ring finger, I'm going to apply the champagne color as my highlight. the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and then my chin. Now the only thing that I miss is the lipstick. I'm going to be using the Everbelena Lip Color Extreme Shine in the shade 704. I have finished applying the lip color but this is too glossy and too bright red for my liking so I'm going to go back to the palette, this palette, and I'm going to use this red eyeshadow to matte down the look and to make it a bit more darker. Again, I'm going to be using my pinky finger for that. Now if you're going to compare the upper and the lower lip, the lower lips look more matte because I apply this matte red eyeshadow. Still too bright for my liking so I'm going to use this cranberry color. At After putting on these colors, I'm going to get my sponge and clean the edges. There you have it guys, this is my take on the 500 peso challenge. I really like how it turned out, it's kind of like a fall makeup look. Now you just have to remember that if you don't have all of the products to do your makeup, you just have to improvise. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye! P.S. guys, mini giveaways is still ongoing. I'll randomly pick a winner every 100 subscribers that I get, and that's till I reach 1,000. I've already picked the winner for my 300 subs giveaway, and here she is.